Okay, welcome back to Detail It, guys. I accidentally hit that start button, but I'm ready enough to get going, so let's get it on. Forgive the mess behind me. I was kind of trying to organize my already messy garage. It's driving me crazy. Anyway, let's get to it. So today, I'm going to cover the Garden Hose Foamer by Mirror Finish Polishes. I'm using their Atomic Bomb Soap. It's a great soap. And as you can see, I have a standard Gilmore pistol grip water nozzle on it because the one that came with it leaks. So, and, and here's the thing, guys. And this isn't exclusively against Mirror Finish or Gino, but most of these garden hose foamers are um, kind of cheaply made, especially the nozzle, the removable nozzle. I've had two now. Um, and they soap okay. They're not going to be like a foam cannon, guys, so don't get all excited. But I sold off my uh, foam cannons and my pressure washers twice now. Shame on me. <laughs> Always wanting to try new stuff. I've already got a new one in my basket on Amazon. Shh, don't tell my wife. She will kill me. Uh -huh. But it happens. <laughs> so anyway, let's just get to this real quick. I'll wash this side of my pickup. See what kind of soap this can put out. Uh, I've already messed with it on the... Uh, driveway and it's okay I mean this isn't a foam cannon right this isn't a pressure washer but it's a soaper I'm gonna call it a soaper it's effective enough that if you're pre-washing I think you're gonna be okay and also if you don't want to use a bucket let's say you want to rinse a vehicle you just want to wet your your sponge and soap it down I think this would be okay to do that I think it would be you can call me a hack that's fine but uh, I'm not going to lie, I would probably do that. There you go. Let it dwell. I'm going to let it sit there. It's got cleaners and emulsifiers in it, right? Let it kind of drag some of that stuff off. Now, I don't think you'd want to use this method on a show car, right? Uh, or like Mama's hot rod in there. You would definitely rinse, foam, rinse. But on this thing that hasn't been cut and buffed, I know how many times have I heard that, Doug? You're never going to do it. You're probably right. It probably never will. But uh, I don't think this is going to hurt this old hoopty at all. Here's my take. I'm gonna unscrew this. All you gotta do is unscrew the, the collar to get your nozzle back to rinse. Rinse it. You're done. That's it. Okay, so that sums it up, man. That's a quick little video. Actually, a decent little product. My truck is clean, clean enough. This isn't a show truck. I have still yet to get Sam the buffer here to polish it. We had a date set, but uh, mama had some hospital bills coming in, so we canceled. Um, anyway, once that happens, would I use this method? 100% actually, yes I would. Rinse, soap, rinse, soap, Contact, rinse again. I would. So actually, guys, if you're in the uh, San Joaquin Valley of California near Selma, Fresno, Hanford, Visalia, Tulare, Exeter, Kingsburg, stop by Mirror Finishes there in Selma. See Gino or Christopher, especially if you're on a budget. These are about 50 bucks. Uh, you can get this and his soap for about 60 bucks. A good pressure washer is going to set you back a couple hundred, and then you're going to have to have accessories and soap on top of that. So you'd probably be in at three bills, and that's probably before you even buy your soap. So I think on a budget, this is definitely a good thing. I actually like it. I know you're going to say, oh, Doug, you're pathetic. Whatever. Um, this is a lot more convenient, especially for my daily driver. I call this my hoopty truck. This is definitely good for this truck because it sits curbside all week. I mean, I put some tire dressing on it like once every six weeks, eight weeks, whatever. I wash it weekly. Uh, and most of the time, <laughs> it gets drive-through washes. Yes. Doug, you hack. Yes. But once I cut and buff, if I ever cut and buff this, 
that won't happen anymore. Anyway, guys, enough rambling. Mirror Finish Polish of Sel Selma, California. Their garden hose foamer is actually two thumbs up. It depends on where you set the bar and really what you're after. But I have no problem with this. And I have no problem recommending it. I think it's a solid product. I really do. And I'm going to keep using it. And it's still cheaper than a pressure washer. Will I get another pressure washer? Yes. But uh, I'm in no hurry to do so. This will be effective for the summer or for at least the next couple of months. Thanks for watching. Gino, thank you. Take care, guys. And if you get a chance, check out wash products, image wash products. Give them a shout. Use code DETELIT for 10% off. That code never expires. Thank you.